my name is Kayla and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a couple different things and I'm going to be doing something that's a little bit new. So right now all I've done is my eyebrows, my primer, and my foundation. So today we're going to be going in with a couple cream products which I tend to not normally do but in order to do that, I can't set my face yet. So here we are with like a blank base. They are for my contour, which I don't normally cream contour, but we'll do it today. I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. And I got two shades, the darker one and the lighter one. For my darker one, it's in the shade Natural Tan. And for the lighter one, it's Natural Ivory. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I did a review of the Maybelline Cheek Heat blushes and it went horribly wrong so this is going to be my second try at them hopefully it works out I just want to go along with the cream theme you know and then for like the main course I'm going in with the Revlon Wonder Woman collaboration and the cream product that goes along with that is a cream or jelly highlighter kind of looks like this I haven't uh, touched it or played with it really. All I've done is look at it. The palette looks like this. Super cute. And then there's two Colorstay Glaze Sticks. They're um, shimmer eyeshadows. The colors Sapphire and Glit. So I didn't get the entire collection because I didn't feel like it was necessary to get, but I also got a whole bunch of lip products there were some more, but like I said, I decided not to get them. So I got a Hyper Matte Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse in the shade Death Valley. And then two lipsticks in the shades Kiss Me Coral and Black Cherry, which upon looking into them are both much different colors than I expected them to be. Like, I thought this was going to be more reddish or, like, purpley, but it's just, like, really dark. And then this one is also a little bit darker than I expected it to be. And the last two products I got are Warrior Glitter Lip Colors, and I think there's something like a gloss. These two colors, you can't really see it on camera, it doesn't pick up very well, but they're, like, super, super glittery and pretty. The purple one is called Gear Up, and the pinkish one is Fight For It. If you'd like to see all of these products in action, just keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos. I am putting out videos about makeup, clearly. I do reviews and tutorials and things like that. If there's anything interesting you'd like to see, make sure you comment down below and let me know what it is and like this video if you like it. I am gonna keep my hair up for this portion of the video because I don't like when it gets in my face when I'm doing face makeup. So I'm gonna start with highlighting, like, doing the concealer. It's pretty pigmented, easy to blend. I also used it for cleaning up my eyebrow. When I'm trying a new concealer, I always use it to clean up my eyebrow too. Instead of using two concealers, I just use one. And I am using my e.l.f. Camo sponge because I've just found out that I really like it for concealing. Oh, okay. Something to think about with this concealer is it dries down pretty fast. I just had a little bit of trouble blending on the bridge of my nose because it dried down pretty fast. Seems to be pretty brightening. I'm now gonna use this underneath my eyes. Hopefully it goes well. It is doing a lot to brighten up my under eye area. Way more than it did for the rest of my face. It's looking really nice there. I'm gonna go in here before it dries. Well, it brightened up my under eyes. It didn't do anything for the creases underneath my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with my contour shade. I hope it's a good color. I kind of just guessed on what would be a good color on my face. For cream contour in the past, I really enjoyed using this brush I got from Sephora a really long time ago. It's the Pro Foundation brush, and it's like a limited edition handle, and it looks like this. It's actually really interesting. I'm gonna try to use this today. Wish me luck, kinda nervous. I'm gonna go in one side at a time because I don't want it to dry like this. 
Oh, that is a lot. I think I... This is too much. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I should have went in with less, I guess. Gonna go underneath my jawline. Gotta make sure this is super blended. Cream contour is definitely uh, not my thing, if you couldn't tell. Going with a little tiniest little amount. I think cream contour is definitely a skill that needs to be learned over time, not just something that somebody could pick up easily. I mean, I'm just speaking for myself. I used to do it in the past, but not with any products like this. I used to use, I think it's the Anastasia Contour Kit. I don't know that this is my color even, it's kind of orange. <laughs> Way less this time. It's much harder to do it on this side than it is the other side. I'm less coordinated over here. Maybe I should have done the Scott Barnes technique instead and done all this underneath my foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and use the cheek heat now. I'm going into the shade Nude Burn for that one. I think that this is not doing my face justice. Um, I had like a pimple here and I think that color just clung to it. So that's pretty ugly. Pretty disappointed again. I wanted it to work more the second time, but like I said, it just clung to like the acne that I have on my face. The color just clung to the, to those, which is pretty annoying because my foundation had them covered before. This is a super bad no. Maybe I'm like a no makeup face. That's what I'd recommend. But now I'm gonna go in with the Wonder Woman collection. Maybe we'll have better luck here. So there's actually a little bit in the cap, and I'm gonna start with that. Okay, it's an interesting gel feeling to it. Ooh, ooh, this is super cute. All right, not the best highlight ever, but you can definitely see it shine on my face. I'm curious to see what all these products will do or be like after I put powder on them. Honestly, the texture of this is so sticky that like, I kind of hate the texture, but that's just because I don't like sticky things personally. Ooh, it's like a, a thick lip gloss almost. It's called a Liquid Armor Glow Pot. So I'm really hoping it's supposed to be a highlighter because if not, I just put lip gloss on my face. Gonna be a dot of this on my nose. It looks pretty though. It, mm, not really highlights, it just kind of makes my face really shiny. So we'll see how that looks underneath powder. Going in with my Laura Mercier powder, and I'm gonna cover my whole face. My thoughts on, first of all, the highlighter, gone entirely, and I don't know that I wanna try to put it over again, because one, I don't like the texture because it's very, very sticky, and two, I don't know how it will react with the powder, so this, completely gone, didn't do anything for me. As for the contour, the contour is definitely peeking out of the powder just a little bit. Doesn't look atrocious. It did contour my face, it's still sticking out. And the blush, um, you can kind of see it on this side a little bit maybe. I love how soft the Laura Mercier powder makes my face feel. For my eyeshadow base, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer like I've been using for the rest of my face instead of my MAC Paint Pot like I usually do. It's not laying the best down in this corner here. It's like broke up a little bit and then in this inner corner, I always have trouble with stuff in this inner corner. So I'm not gonna knock this because of that. Going in with the eyeshadow palette. The Wonder Woman Face and Eye Palette. Face palette. 
Maybe I will use one of these for the highlighters. I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Bretman Ruck Collaboration Helen brush, and I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is Compassion. There we go, bringing some highlight back to the face. I think that other highlighter that it came with, the gel-like textured one, could be really good on a no makeup face, like that Maybelline blush. Maybe like for a beach day. This shade for a highlighting shade is definitely really subtle. Subtle and cute. I'm now gonna try to layer that with this gold shade, which is the shade Courage. Mm. I really like the idea of a super gold highlight with a Wonder Woman look. I feel like it just makes sense. So this collection also came with a couple nail polishes. I decided to get one of them and it's the dark blue and it's got like a bunch of shimmers in it. And I don't usually paint my fingernails, so I didn't paint my fingernails, but I painted my toes. And it looks really cute. I like it a lot. All right, now that I'm done with that, I'm much happier with this than before. For this look, I think I'm gonna start with pink. So I'm gonna go in with that pink shade, which is called Brave. Um, something that I don't like about this palette right off the bat when looking at it is there's only two actual matte shades, which is the orange and the pink. The rest of them have some level of shimmer in them. And it's really hard to make a lot of good looks with just shimmers, in my opinion. But I'm gonna go in with that pink shade on my Morphe N441 brush. It's part of the James Charles eye brush set. Right off the bat, I really like that it only comes a little bit onto the brush. Like it's not overpowering. I'm just gonna put that on the inner portion of my crease, buffing it out. I'd like to keep it pretty light for now. It's laying down really nicely. I think I used too big of a brush for it, but I really like the shade names. They're really like almost inspiring. Compassion, self-control, unbeatable, perseverance, legendary, truth, wisdom, self-belief, brave, and courage. Sends a really nice message. So for my next shade, I am going to go into that orange shade, which is the shade Truth. Just lightly like I did with the other one. And I'm gonna continue this line that I have going here. Just going in lightly until it reaches the intensity that I like. I really like how that looks with the pink. I think it really blends nicely and layers nicely with that orange. For the next shade, I'm gonna go in with unbeatable and i'm going to take that on one of my elf crease brushes and i'm going to use that to kind of blend out the edge it's a little bit of a shimmery shade so i don't want to mess with it too much then i'm going to take that on the edge and i'm just going to pull it out just a little bit picking up quite a lot of this shade because it's much less pigmented than i expected it to be it's actually blending out quite nicely Wow, this is actually really pretty. These drugstore palettes lately have been doing really good. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of that same shade I was using here, the Unbeatable, I believe it was, over here and blend this a little bit too. It's creating this really nice like baby pink. I've really, really been liking the technique of removing the makeup before I cut the crease. So I am gonna continue to do that. I know I did that in the last few videos. I'm not cutting the full crease, just about halfway, I think maybe three quarters of the way. So I think that looks actually so cute, especially up close, because that paint, that darker pink line is just so thin. I'm gonna take that Morphe M124 brush from the James Charles collection that I used to cut the crease last time that was so good. I'm gonna continue using it for like forever now. And I'm gonna take that same concealer I've been using all day for this whole video, not all day. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this crease. I'm not as worried about the lid being super covered as I normally would be because I'm gonna do something kind of fancy today. All right, I'm gonna take my orange shade and bring it in. Using the same brush I was using for it before, blending up into the concealer that I already have there. Wow, it looks so cute. So now I'm going to take another brush from the James Charles set. It's the M152 brush, which is just a really little fluffy-ish brush. And I'm gonna start to apply three different colors. I'm going in with the shade 
self-control, the teal one, self-belief, this blue one, and legendary, the purple one. And I'm going to put those all in a very small line starting here and moving out. First going in with the teal one. Wow, this shade is so pretty and so pigmented. Trying to keep them as small as possible and I'm blending it into the teal shade. Wow, these shades are so pretty. I don't normally use a lot of Revlon makeup, but for a drugstore palette, it's gorgeous. It's not as noticeable from far away, I don't think. But for up close pictures, I think this is gonna look so good. We'll see. I tend not to do like super cool looks lately. I've just been so busy. I'm actually shocked. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease again. I'm gonna take one of the Bretman Rock collaborations with Wet n Wild brushes again, it's the flat one. And I'm gonna go into that gold shade, which is the shade Courage. I'm gonna pack that all over the lid. This is definitely coming out so cute. And I'm really proud of it. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna complete the other eye. Absolutely loving the way it turned out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the underneath. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M508 smudgy brush. And I'm gonna go into those two shades that I used on the top, the pink and the orange. A lot of time with drugstore shadows, the shimmer that's on top is just like an overspray and it's not really fully shimmery all the way through. And some of these shades are a little bit like that, some of them are not. So with that shade that I used up here, Unbeatable, that shade turned out to be more matte than shimmer underneath, but the gold is shimmer all the way through. So it's not as much inconsistent as it is there are differences. Like they're different formulas almost. And I'm gonna take that same brush I was using up top and not clean it off or anything, just leave it and blend. And these three shades kind of lost intensity. Not like so much, like this side's a little bit more intense than this up close, like you wouldn't notice from this far away. I also realized halfway through that there were those little sticks that I completely forgot to use. So I decided I'm gonna use them in a different look, just using those as like a easy, eyeshadow or whatever kind of look because I still do want to use them because they're really interesting and I was really intrigued by them. I'd still like to try them out and I got too carried away when I decided I was going to do this double cut crease. To finish off this eye look, I think I'm going to go in with the Benefit Cookie highlighter on my M508 brush just to give it a real pop. Now this is how I originally wanted that shadow to perform. It's not that it's a bad shadow, it is drugstore grade. This is definitely that more intense vibe I was going for. I'm gonna go on to the inner corner with this too. I've been almost neglecting my inner corner lately. Look at that, it just gives it a little bit of a pop. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and coat a very light coat of my mascara. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some Velocity lashes. They're 100% handmade mink and they're gorgeous. I think a Wonder Woman look actually requires the lashes. I like how the outside orangey color almost looks like not neon, but kind of neon or like peachy. All right, so like I had said before, I have a whole bunch of lip products to try out. I'm going to first go in with the super lustrous cream lipstick in the shade Kiss Me Coral. If you hear that little tapping in the background, it's actually raining and I prefer to keep my windows open when it rains because I really like the sound. This is the first color. I think it looks really nice. It actually matches my shirt really nicely. All right, the next color I'm gonna go in with is the other lipstick color I have, which is Black Cherry. Kinda nervous about this one. I actually don't like this, like in theory I like this color. But this lipstick just is not doing it for me. Ooh, this could look really cute ombre though. I think now I'm going to lip swatch the Fight For It reddish pink lip gloss. Ooh, that applicator is really funky. It like just looks a little bit weird. 
Wow, this is not what I thought it was. <gasps> this is so pretty. Oh, this is not a gloss. And I still haven't gone in for another like dip into here. It is just fully coating my entire lip or lips. This is so pretty. I thought this was just a lip gloss. Oh, this is so sparkly and so glittery and so gorgeous. It says warrior glitter lip color. It's like a, a liquid lipstick and it's full shimmer. This would be like a perfect holiday shade, not to mention it just looks like so good. Wow, I don't even wanna take it off because that's how good it is. I thought I was gonna be more impressed with this one. This, I couldn't even imagine what it looks like. This look came out so good and I'm so happy with it. The highlight of the show, to be completely honest, is this lip color, whatever it's called, whatever you wanna call it, this is insane so good so pretty like you can't even see how pretty it is from there but it is literally so pretty i'm so impressed and they do purple so excited to use that one but i'm not gonna use it for this video just a little recap on everything besides this because this is just literal gold the eyeshadow palette it's really nice i really like it you can see i dug in there pretty deep came out like this eyeshadow look came out really pretty and i'm sure it's very versatile there's a lot of different things you could do this gloss thing for your face definitely for a no makeup makeup day not for a makeup makeup day both of these lipsticks are not my favorite if i were to have to pick a favorite out of the two i'd pick kiss me coral because that one matched better with this look and my shirt and it had a better consistency in my opinion as for all the other products, I will be trying them in a different video because I'm really sad that I forgot to use these because these look really pretty. Also, these lip colors, I can't use them now because I can't take this off. It's too pretty. But these are both purpley in look, so I'll be able to use those together next time. I can't believe I thought this was a gloss. I almost put this on and then put this over it. I would have been really surprised. Thanks so much for watching my video. I loved creating this look for you guys. See you next time. Bye.